So my Theramini is a little beat up, but it's still a great showcase of what this product is. As you can see on the front, we have a volume knob, a pitch correction knob, a scale button, a root button, a setup button, an effects button with an effects knob and a presets knob. Has a speaker right here on the front, which kind of looks like it's just part of the design. So they did a really good job making this a part of the uh, Thera Mini. It just looks like a very futuristic instrument, very bean-like, you know. As you can see here on the side, we have uh, one of the parts of the instrument that you actually mess with. On the bottom of the instrument, in case you're wondering where the uh, rod is, it's actually stored right here. It even shows you how to take it off and how to put it on. The feet look very nice, as you can tell. But you take the rod and you stick it in right there, and it goes in pretty deep. So you're not going to have to worry about this thing moving around. Once it's in there, it's not coming out. So. As you can see, on the back of the instrument, we have a couple more I.O. We got a mini, or I think it's a USB, a micro USB or macro USB. We have a power button, a 12 volt DC uh, input, a grounding screw, CV out, and left and right out. It's also got one of those locking uh, things, so if you want to lock this up, if you're like, a business and you want to make sure people can just test it out. It's also got a screw here on the bottom which lets you mount it on a stand. Overall this device is quite nice. The uh, oops, my, 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 my mistake. The plastic feels very plasticky obviously but it doesn't feel cheap. All of this metal makes it feel pretty nice and I think just looking at it, it looks very nice. They did an amazing job designing it. I love the way the rubber feet kind of mold in with the plastic. It just gives it a nice look. I've seen a lot of uh, devices that just simply put like a piece of rubber on the bottom. This, it's like a part of the design. The I.O. is very simple to use. It has a little screen right here in the front. makes it easy to use. Speaker's in a really good position because you're going to be standing over it like the way I am. Kind of moving your hands like this. So directly right above you. And if you haven't noticed... It actually has headphone output right here. So overall, if you're looking to get into a Theremin, the Theremini is an amazing way to do it. I think uh, this is a very fun and intuitive way to mess with a very interesting and complicated instrument. So I totally recommend the Moog Theremini.